everybody, I'm Star Lord. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. I'm actually having a pretty good one, guys. So, yeah, I hope that you're all happy. Uh, but anyway, guys, today's video is actually going to be talking about the new randomizer mode in Pokemon Brick Bronze and four problems that people are probably having with it right now and that the developers of Pokemon Brick Bronze can actually take into consideration and help out and change around. Uh, before we get into this video, guys, do not forget to leave a like, as it is very much appreciated. Thank you very much. And, uh, yeah, let's just get straight into it, guys. Let's get straight into this video. Um, okay, so, obviously, the randomizer is such a huge success. And, lately, over a couple of my videos, I've been seeing, like, a lot of people asking, you know, will a trade resort be added into the randomizer mode? Will battling be added into the randomizer mode and everything like that? Um, personally, I don't think that these two things are going to be added in. I, I just think it's not really like a randomizer to have online features. A randomizer is normally meant for just the game, and that's it. Like, the base game. No player versus player, anything like that. Now, the first problem that I actually realized about the randomizer was a couple of days ago, when I had caught a matchup. And then I evolved it into a machoke, but then I was like... Oh, dude, what? How am I going to evolve this? Because, like, there is no match, there is no trading. You need to trade Pokemon in order to actually evolve them, such as, you know, Alakazam. Alakazam, once you, once you have Kadabra, you need to go into the trade resort and you have to actually trade this Pokemon over in order to get its evolution. Now, this is a big, big problem because if people are playing the randomizer, you know, they, some people do want to catch all Pokemon in the game and, um, how are they going to do that? It's going to be really, really difficult. Now, of course, I know for a fact that you will be able to find Alakazam and Machamp in the wild, but it's going to be very, very hard to do because obviously it's not... It, like, they don't have their own places where they spawn. It's random. It's, it's like the chances of you running into two Alakazams one after another is... That's crazy chances right there. That is like insanely crazy chances. Now, this is like the first thing I, I, I thought of. I was like, oh no, this is like really bad. Now, how else do like the randomizers do this? Like, how is this going to be fixed? Personally, I don't know how they will fix this unless they add in a trade resort. But I also know that adding in a trade resort is actually a bad thing to do in a randomizer. Um... Randomizer rules normally state that you cannot have like any kind of trading involved in it and everything like that Um, so this could be very problematic. Maybe they will add in a uh, player versus player and trading later on But as of right now um, the fact that there is no trading with NPCs in the game or uh, like other players This is a really bad thing. You know, you're not going to be able to evolve into Gengar, Alakazam, Machamp and countless other Pokemon at that. Uh, so this is the first problem I actually noticed with it. The second problem, which I know a lot of you guys aren't actually going to enjoy me saying, is that it is too easy to find legends in the randomizer. Now, obviously, they've actually upped, like, the chances of you finding legends. Like, they've made it, like, easier than normal Pokemon, but I feel like it's way too easy. I feel like it's way too easy. Uh, a good friend of mine, Foey, actually caught every single legend in the game that you can get for Pokemon Brick Bronze and Mythicals, actually. Um, but I just thought, wow, that's just too easy to do. It took him, like, three or four days of countless hunting, um, personally, I think that's a little bit too easy. I think that to make the randomizer mode uh, better and to make it last longer, they should kind of make them so they're not as common as, like, you would normally find them in the wild and everything like that. Um, I don't know. That's just me. Personally, I think they should do that as soon as possible. They should actually, like, decrease the legend rate. Uh, but feel free to comment down below whether you agree or disagree with me on that because I'm sure the developers do look at videos like this for feedback and uh, they probably want to know your feedback, guys. Uh, personally, for me, I think they're too common. They should just kind of make them a little tiny bit harder to find so that it's like every 100 Pokemon you encounter, it's a legend, okay? So I think that's pretty okay, personally, because you can encounter Pokemon very, very easily. Um, other than that, there is another problem which I wanted to bring up with, which is EV training is difficult now. You cannot actually properly, efficiently EV train your Pokemon because if you want to EV tra train your Pokemon in specific things such as attack and defense, it's going to be hard to do that because normally you would actually go to a route where the people, the person who you were battling 
always had the same Pokemon, which would increase your EVs for, let's say, attack and defense. Now they're not going to be there anymore. It's going to be randomized Pokemon every time you attack them or battle with them. Um, this is a big problem for people who do like EV training and are probably finding it hard to beat other people without EV training their Pokemon. I don't necessarily know how we're going to get over this, how they're going to try and fix this. I hope they do try and fix this personally, because I do like EV training personally. Um, but I just don't know exactly how. I don't know exactly how they're going to do this. If you guys do have a solution to this problem, uh, feel free again to comment down below. Because, you know, the developers will, will kind of like to hear from you. Um, other than that, it is, it is very difficult to EV train these days. Um, as of yet, we've got the no training. The legends are too common. EV training is hard. Um, and the next thing that is actually a problem in my eyes is that the items that you find in Pokeballs around the world aren't randomized either. I don't know whether in the Pokemon games... Whether or not, like, uh, once you go into a randomizer, it would have random items in Pokeballs that you find, like, secret ones in the map. But if they did, I think that the Pokemon Brick Bronze developers should actually make it like that in this game too. I think that, you know, some items should be randomized. Because, for example, there's a lot of people right now with a Mega Rayquaza, uh, well, sorry, a Rayquaza, uh, Rayquaza, even, and there's no Mega Stone for it. How cool would it be to be at the start of the game and instead of, like walking into a tm brick break it's actually like it's actually like a, you know a a a, a requazar megastone i don't know i just think that would be pretty cool it would add more to the randomizer personally um but i can understand that, that they probably won't do this it'll be a little bit difficult but it just means that we're gonna have to wait a long long time until we actually get randomized items or mega stones implemented into the game because i really want a mega requaza i really do i i i really want that pokemon um so that's kind of like my four problems with the randomizer personally guys like i said if you do disagree on any of these feel free to comment them down below because you know this is like a place where everyone has an opinion and feel free to express that opinion if you do it politely um but anyway guys that's pretty much been it for that part of the video the next part i actually wanted to uh, tell you guys that um i'm having a huge shiny legend giveaway. I'm giving away my best shiny Pokemon. Uh, some of you guys probably already know this. Some probably already don't. Um, but yeah, I'm actually giving away Pokemon such as like a shiny Entai, shiny Verizian, shiny uh, Latias or Latias. I'm not really too sure which one it is. But I'm giving away those Pokemon. And um, I'm going to be doing it like one Pokemon a week, maybe. One of those Pokemon a week. Um, I've got more than that, by the way. I've got way more Pokemon than that. But I will be giving them away to very, very lucky winners. And uh, what I wanted to say is make sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on notifications, guys. Because any one of my videos can actually have the announcement in it. So make sure that if you do see one of my videos, just give it a little watch. Just kind of skip through it or whatever you want to do. Or look in the comment section below whether someone like says something about the giveaway and um yeah i wish you all the best of luck with applying for those uh, like you know entering those giveaways in the next couple of days other than that i also do have a robux giveaway planned for december which is coming up very very soon it's nearly december now now guys which is absolutely insane um so you know if you do want to be in for your chance to win a lot of robux uh, i'm going to be selecting a couple of winners in that robux giveaway uh, i'm not too sure how many just yet but they will be selected nevertheless. Um, so if you do want to have a chance at getting into that Robux giveaway, please feel free to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and just keep an eye out for that. Because, uh, yeah, it'll be pretty cool. Now, last update I actually... Oh, <laughs> I'm doing too many updates in one video. I'm so sorry. But the last update that I actually wanted to do was um, the randomizer mode. A lot of you guys have been asking me to start a series on it. And that is what I will do. Unfortunately, as of late, the house that I'm in right now is very hectic. Everyone shouts a lot and everything. And I just don't get the time to record for like 30 minutes straight to do videos like that. But hopefully sometime soon, I will find the time to do that. Uh, where everyone goes out for like two hours or something, maybe three hours.
hours and I can actually do it because I know a lot of you guys really want to see a randomizer from me so I'll do my best to do that guys I promise you and uh, yeah just keep an eye out for that too other than that guys I would like to say thank you very much for all the support on the channel lately and uh, thank you very much for watching today's video of four problems with the randomizer mode in Pokemon Brick Bronze hopefully we can get a couple of these sorted out and fixed in the next couple of weeks um, so yeah anyway guys thank you very much for watching today's video and until next time I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.